And the concept being is if we're all working together in the community, we'll be creating jobs, making stable communities, no appeals, no litigation, because everybody's on the same page, on the same sheet of music. We're all wanting to do the same thing out there. And it's just, it's a great experiment. It's one that we should have been doing years ago, in my opinion. It has uh, created a forum for discussion that has opened the minds of everyone involved to listen to each other and to appreciate everything that's said. Whether or not we agree with it all, that doesn't matter. It's all about open communication. It's about trying to understand what's important to the other guy. What the coalition's doing, though, is something that you read about that Teddy Roosevelt would have done, something to that scale. I mean, it's absolutely revolutionary, you know. It's, we're going to get more production off our land and make more people happy. It's, it's going to open the timber canopy up for grazing allotments. It's going to allow grasses and, and the clovers to grow that uh, it's going to benefit the ungulates out there. It's, it's looking at all different angles for, from ATV enthusiasts to sportsmen to cattlemen to timbermen. And I think, you know, this is where we're going to really move ahead as the northeastern counties. And I want us to be that healthy community, whether it's supporting this facility, supporting recreation, supporting the outdoors, supporting the people that live here in Northeast Washington because they like the area so much. So I, I'm glad that I'm a part of the Forestry Coalition. I'm glad that I'm part of working together to, to solve extremely difficult problems, working with a good group of people that all seem to want to come together and, and do the right thing for the forest. The coalition may be one of the best kept secrets in Northeast Washington. Um, the work of the coalition is, is phenomenal. They have brought in mil literally millions of dollars revenue to the Tri-County area. Um, they have collaborated on over 22 Colville National Forest projects in the last six plus years. And because of that collaboration, there have been no appeals or litigation and that's unprecedented. I think the coalition has done some fantastic work. Uh, it's brought people to the table. Everybody's willing to listen and talk and, and at least join in those areas we have total agreement on. Uh, I, my experience way back in the past is none of that happened. We were always landlocked on most every issue. It's really an unusual thing for loggers and environmentalists to go to Washington DC together and say we're on the same page and you know we really want to get some projects out of Colville National Forest and Senator or represent we could use your help. I think you get listened to. People that are involved in Department of Agriculture and Interior, please hear us here in Washington that the coalition is just a tool to better communicate what's important to the local people here. But we need to take action on the ground. We're ready. We need to do it before we lose this tool we have here that we can demonstrate it in other areas. And it's not only proactive, it pays. A small investment will pay you huge dividends in a healthy forest and healthy communities. Whether cattlemen buy into this process or not, I, you know, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, a, it's a ways to go on that, but I think to, to not get involved in the process and explore every option that's there is a missed opportunity. Um, you can always say no, but let's, let's take a look at everything that's out there, everything that's to gain and that's to lose, and then weigh it. I, I, you know, I, I hate to see cattlemen try to weigh it before they've looked at all their options. You have to negotiate, talk, you have to continually talk. Like uh, see Winston Churchill said, uh, uh, jaw, jaw, jaw beats fight, fight, fight. <laughs> and, that, and that's the way it works. And so it'll work out. 
So we'd like to just invite anyone who is interested to come join us at our meetings and share your perspectives and help us tackle the challenging, conflicting issues for management on our Kabul National Forest. This transition from controversy to common ground has helped sustain thousands of timber-related jobs and brought millions of dollars into the local economy. Because of these successes, the Colville National Forest has become a national model for collaborative forest management, showing other communities and elected officials that it is possible to protect jobs and our natural heritage for future generations.